welcome students to one more session of your hydrocarbons chapter so today in this topic we are going to study the most important concept of alkenes that is oxidation reactions of alkenes so what actually is oxidation it is nothing but addition of oxygen but whenever you are doing some oxidation reactions you require something called oxidizing agent very very important right so reduction reducing agent you require now oxidation of alkenes let us study let us see what what under uh, which headings are we going to study we are going to we are going to study the oxidation reactions under combustion reactions combustion is nothing but uh, uh, burning in the presence of oxygen isn't it right so i'll be teaching you the next type of reaction that is controlled oxidation reactions okay this is without any control it directly burns off the oxygen is there right so uh, whenever combustion reactions are there they're going to form carbon x in water now in the second case whenever i have to say take the next type of classification of oxidation is control oxidation reactions with which one i said we require an oxidizing agent kmno4 very very important right this kmno4 again you're going to study under three headings what are they here i'm going to take cold dilute okay cold i'll be teaching you cold dilute uh, conditions okay cold means the kmno4 whatever we are taking is cold with the kmno4 which we are taking is dilute because i am going to teach you again one more what is that cold dilute kmno4 is one condition next opposite to cold is hot then dilute now the opposite to dilute is concentrated then kmno4 so once again we are going to study under cold dilute kmno4 conditions and we'll be studying under hot concentrated kmno4 solution right so again cold dilute you have two more things which you should remember it can be acidic condition as well as alkaline condition okay it is also uh, sometimes we also use neutral conditions also alkaline and neutral conditions okay this is how you're going to study the whole oxidation reactions of alkenes very important oxidation reaction i'll explain gradually please try to keep noting it right. so once let us start with the uh, important little one after the other one one more thing also is there you have what we have one more type of uh, oxidation reactions let us write in the next page that is ozonolysis reactions so ozonolysis ozonolysis reaction so that also we will be learning right so let's come back and learn the oxidation reaction the first type of oxidation reaction that is combustion reaction right so now i said combustion reaction isn't it so let us write the heading combustion reaction and start off so when i have to speak about combustion reaction what actually a combustion combusting means burning burning in the presence of oxygen that's the most important thing fine so alkenes what is the most important thing alkenes have double bonded right just like alkenes uh, also undergo combustion reactions alkynes also undergo combustion reactions so alkenes whenever you're heating or when it undergoes in in the presence reaction in the presence of oxygen what are the things always remember combustion products are carbon dioxide oxide and water right but important thing is this is what is important large amount of heat is evolved so that's why combustion reactions are always let us write that combustion reactions are highly exothermic in nature you have to mention this with the evolution of heat only combustion reactions are correct right. so let us balance this reaction over here this becomes 3 okay then this becomes 2 and this becomes 2 okay this is balanced isn't it so this is your combustion reaction which is highly exothermic now after combustion reactions the products please remember combustion products are carbon dioxide and water always irrespective of the hydrocarbon taken the next important thing now we'll be learning the important concept that is oxidation reactions oxidation reaction with dilute kmno4 right right so now what is the role of kmno4 kmno4 is an oxidizing agent it's going to release out release out uh, nascent oxygen so that nascent oxygen will help in oxidation process so let us divide the page into two equal halves in the first page what is the condition i am going to take cold and dilute kmno4 okay so dilute kmno4 okay cold and dilute now opposite to this cold becomes hot 
okay right uh, so now we'll do first thing first we'll not take hot we'll do cold dilute kimono 4 and this is in the acidic condition and next one i will do the same cold dilute kimono 4 under which condition under alkaline condition okay right so in the under acidic condition if i say what am i going to take this occurs in the presence of dilute sulfuric acid Suppose if I say alkaline condition, this occurs in the presence of sodium carbonate, Na2CO3. Now, what is important to note here, just see. Whenever you are taking an alkene along with this, okay, you are taking alkene and you are taking under this condition, KMnO4. So, what will happen? This KMnO4, what is the color of KMnO4? We know KMnO4 color is purple in color, right, purple. So, in acidic medium, the purple color of KMnO4, it gets converted or it will turn into colorless. Remember this. So, the first important thing, you have to remember, the color of KMnO4 becomes colorless in acidic medium. Now, suppose if I take an alkaline solution, that is a sodium carbonate. Again, the same thing here. First, we said KMnO4 is purple in color. Suppose if you are taking an alkaline solution, this purple color first becomes dark green dark green after that this is going to convert into dark brown ppt dark brown ppt so this is how it converts so this is a whole procedure of kmn4 getting converted so you need to remember acidic medium it's going to get converted to purple to colorless in the alkaline medium it converts into purple first converts purple to dark green from dark green to dark brown in color now let's see the reactions which are involved in both the cases yes Hope, uh, please note this very important based on the color only you can say tell uh, your teacher ma'am this is an acidic condition this is a basic condition when the color changes now let's see the reactions so let us again divide the page into two equal halves I'm taking my scale and dividing the page into two equal halves and let's start suppose first thing if I take now what is this condition this is cold this is dilute KMnO4 and what is this this is acidic condition then this is cold dilute KMnO4 this is base uh, this is uh, alkaline solution isn't it alkaline solution now it was like the reaction first of all what is the use why are we taking KMnO4 so KMnO4 now important thing to remember whenever you have KMnO4 in the solution I said it is um, it is used or it is an uh, oxidizing agent how does it break and why are we using that let's see first of all KMnO4 whenever it is dissolved in water like this it will break up into just see here KOH plus MnO2 and it's going to release nascent oxygen first let me balance this mm, this is 2 this is 2 this is 2 this is 3 yeah right now this is where is important because of the release of nascent oxygen this KMnO4 is used or it is used as an oxidizing agent and hence used in oxidation reactions what is this called this is called a nascent oxygen this is where acts or helps in oxidation process done yes now the same thing here also the same here also the same this is a common reaction for both okay this also same let me take certain examples suppose if i take the first example right i am going to take here ethene okay? ethene now what did we say we said we are uh, uh, going to take the uh, reaction of kmno4 uh, because it is uh, yielding or it is giving us nascent oxygen here what am i going to do i am going to take ethene and again in water now what did i say we have nascent oxygen here in the presence of nascent okay we will add nascent oxygen also which we have got and what what are we using we are using dilute KMnO4 so let us write dilute KMnO4 and what is the temperature KMnO4 273 Kelvin so then what happens this double bond breaks here right this double bond breaks and this oxygen whatever is there it goes and adds to this okay this nascent oxygen adds around these two means of this particular double bond what do we get i get a product that is this is water also is here ch2 single bond ch2 this is hydrogen isn't it there are two hydrogens two oxygens once again two hydrogens two oxygens so one will add as oh to this one more will add as oh to this what is the name of this compound two carbon right so this is called ethane one comma two one comma two 
diol okay diol means alcohol so this is also called as or it is also called as ethylene glycol ethylene glycol ethylene glycol done yes now suppose if i have to uh, take or uh, if i have to write the ionic reaction of this okay let me write turn the page and take make an ionic reaction of this then you will further understand so ionic reactions you will study in grade 12 but i'm writing it here so ch2 double bond ch2 it's going to combine with water and from i'm i'm this is mno4 because k k mno4 dissociates into k plus and mno4 minus isn't it mno4 plus now i said acidic medium so redox reaction chapter will teach you this right so an acidic medium is h plus so when i take this okay when i balance this first me let me write the product mm. So, how many, this this whole uh, reaction when I write, this double bond breaks here, I am going to get CH2, single bond CH2, OH here, the same product which you have written, H plus MN plus 2. So, when I have to balance the whole reaction, this will be 5 here, this is 5 here, this is 2 water molecule, this is 2 here and this is 6H plus this also is 5 and this is mn plus 2 2 this is the ionic reaction of this so the same thing you'll be studying with redox reaction students so redox reaction tap chapter teach will teach you what is the reduction uh, uh, reaction as well as oxidation reaction in that and that too i've taken h plus saying that it is an acidic medium fine so remember this is the ionic reaction of that then let's go back and turn and uh, this take this page because i want to I have to teach you this now suppose if i have to take if i have uh, the same thing i'm taking this in alkaline uh, medium okay alkaline medium now in alkaline medium now again i'll write the ionic reaction so that will be very useful for you so for this alkaline medium i'm going to take again ch2 double bond ch2 now i said again kmno4 dissociates into mno4 minus so water also is there <clears throat> here what will happen this again forms products ch2 this is ch2 and your oh and this is your oh plus mno4 converts into mno2 and basic medium we said so oh minus so i've directly written the ionic reaction so three moles here this is two this is 4 and this is again 3 because this is 3 and this is 2 and this is 2. Now, what did I uh, uh, say first of all in the earlier uh, thing I said, remember here, this first becomes purple to dark green, dark green to dark brown I said. Now, this is your MnO2 is your uh, dark brown PPT, dark brown PPT, done. Now, what will happen further? Let's see. This MnO2, that, that first one is formed into MnO4, MnO2. Now, in the uh, uh, second case. So, uh, what did I say? After dark brown, it's going to form, uh, no, first it forms dark green, then dark brown. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to write the reaction. So, I think this will be the part B part of that. Now, let me write part A. First of all, first thing, what will happen in first step? CH2, double bond, CH2 plus MnO4 okay that is from your chemino 4 so basic medium okay OH minus this forms CH2 single bond CH2 OH will add as we have seen now this converts into MnO4 minus 2 okay now this is your dark green color okay, this is your dark green color so dark green color let us balance this 2 so 2 OH so 2 mn 2 oh are here 2 oh 2 mn right so mno4 okay this is also over so i have to write this also 2 mn done so now see come back to the reaction so first of all i said whenever there is alkaline medium purple converts to dark green dark green to dark brown correct now see here this is from your kmno4 and i said it is alkaline medium so i have taken oh minus the product is formed first it forms dark green from dark green the same dark green thing here 
I've taken that and that dark green forms dark brown. So this is how is your reaction forming. So this is the uh, reaction of cold dilute KMnO4 in acidic medium as well as alkaline medium. So this is the first step which you should remember. This is the second step which you should remember. Okay, this is the thing. So thank you for watching students. Please note this. This will be A and this will be B. Right. Let me meet you again in the next type of reaction that is hot concentrated KMnO4.